Hello my friends. Welcome to another Two Girls One Up ASMR video. It's been a while since we have opened any Magic the Gathering. And for tonight's ASMR session, we have the latest set from Magic the Gathering, the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. As you can see here, this is a play booster box, which is the consolidation of the previous draft and set boosters. I am very excited to be opening this. It is the first play booster box that we'll be opening in the channel. And I know that there are some very interesting cards that have been included in this set. So here we have vehicles. Here we have, you may remember him from I think, Throne of Eldrain, Oko. Here this seems to be Ractus and um, I don't know who this is in the back. As you can see, this is a Western theme set where we'll settle up for a wild ride. Join Oko's crew of deadly desperados as they plot a brace and heist in the frontier world of Thunder Junction. Harsh deserts, hostile critters, and rival outlaws may try to slow down your crime spree, but with grit and gumption, you'll ride off into the sunset. Just don't forget your hat. <laughs> Very interesting. Now, what are play boosters? They are draft and set boosters now combined into one. They're perfect for limited play and fun to open. You may find our cards, showcase cards and additional rares and or mythics. Plus you'll find a traditional foil in every pack. So as I had mentioned already, we no longer have any set or draft booster boxes for Magic the Gathering. Now we have play boosters. What does it mean for your casual player? Well, if you like playing um, without having to spend a lot, draft boosters were always the option. If you were a collector and you wanted to have foils or wanted to get more rarities than the set boosters and the collector boxes, were the option. So now with the play boosters, while the price has increased, I have heard that people have been having a great time opening these packs. That the experience has been very fun and from our latest video of Magic, I think we were opening some Ixalan. That was a lot of fun for the set boosters. So we shall see if the play boosters leap up to the hype. Before we get into the opening, as always, thank you for watching us today and thank you for being here and leaving us a comment. We love reading you, listening to your ideas and opinions and we hope that you enjoy this relaxing experience with us tonight. I am Sakti. Let's get started, shall we?
right, some very nice art. And the different archetypes. And this is a very nice illustration of Oko. All right, one of the things that I have been reading or that I had read about from this particular set is that some people discover that some of the art included here is actually taken essentially stolen from other artworks so many people did not end up buying Thunder Junction at least the pre-releases that we have witnessed in our preferred LGS they have been well attended so have you heard of this particular issue and has it deterred you from buying into this set I'd be interesting I'd be interested to know in what you think about it okay so let us see well here we have our first Oh, our card, and it is signed. <laughs> that is interesting. And this is Giza the Hellraiser. Hmm, interesting. All right. Well, here we have land, the bristling backwoods, emergent haunting, and enchantment. All right. Oh, look at this. So these are like those kind of poster western styles and so this is the ride down destroy target blocking creature creatures that were blocked by that creature this combat gain trample until end of turn oh that's very powerful and look at this here we have our very first mythic tiny bones the pickpocket so maybe tiny bones is the one that's riding over here i think that is exactly him so a skeleton rogue with that touch one cost whenever tiny bones the pickpocket deals combat damage to a player you may cast target non-land permanent card from that player's graveyard and mana of any type can be spent to cast that spell interesting so resilient roadrunner bandits hall skill storm summoner Jolene, Plundering Pugilist. It's one of my favorite color combos. Whenever you attack with one or more creatures with power 4 or greater, create a treasure token. Okay, it's actually pretty nice. Conduit Pylons. Raven of Fell Omens. Okay, the Razzle Dazzler. <laughs> oh, I, we have a friend who we call the Razzle Dazzle. So... We are going to be giving him this card. Brittled Bighorn, a ship mount. Iron Fist Pulverizer. Okay, and so it seems that the higher rarity cards are in the front compared to in the back. I have to say, I am getting a very similar experience compared to when I opened the Ixalan um, draft. Well, set a booster box, not draft. And looking at the special arts here, I'm going to be putting the lens in this side. So this is the guaranteed foil. And then here we have those nice um, like newspaper style wanted poster style and i remember seeing the symbols they have different uh, symbols for the different styles decisive denial choose one target creature you control fights target creature you don't control or counter target non creature spell unless it's controller pays three. Oh wow okay so this is another symbol which is something about 
like bald. I don't remember the name exactly. Um, but this is actually pretty cool. So esoteric duplicator, an artifact clue. Whenever you sacrifice esoteric duplicator or another artifact, you may pay two. If you do at the beginning of the next end step, create a token that's a copy of that artifact. And you can pay two, sacrifice it and draw a card. That is pretty nice. Ornery tumblewag, creature brushwag mount. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. That's actually pretty powerful. Whenever Ornery Tumblewag attacks while well saddled, double the number of plus one plus one counters on that creature. Wow, that is pretty crazy. Very cool. All right, here we begin. Requisition rate, shifting grift, uh, gem, light food, sky explorer. Then here we have our commons. Rodeo pyromancers. <laughs> Very fractus looking. And another brittle bighorn. This is very interesting. Two packs and two mythics, my friends. Like, I did not expect that. I would think that there is not just one mythic in every pack. Um, that would be kind of crazy, but that has been an interesting opening experience for sure. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, we did not get a, an art card on this pack. We got a token, a human warrior. We trample in haste. Here we have our land going to put the token here land so here is our guaranteed foil and outcaster green blade then journey to nowhere huh when it enters the battlefield exile target creature when it leaves the battlefield return the exile card to the battlefield under its owner's control all right yes so that's what i expected we are not getting a mythic in every pack that would be crazy now another mount uh fortune the loyal steed when it enters the battlefield you get to scry too and when it attacks while saddle at the end of combat exile it and up to one creature that saddle it this turn then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control cool all right uh, red rock sentinel Slick shot lock picker, <laughs> very nice. Spinewoods armadillo, <laughs> look at this cutie over here. And here we got ankle biter, so your standard one drop that touch, consuming ashes, daring thunder teeth. Okay, dangerous tapped, interesting. Okay, the discerning peddler. When it enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do, you get to draw a card. Dance of the Tumbleweeds. <laughs> Some sorcery right there. And an Iron Fist Pulverizer. Our second copy. Okay, we shall continue. So, the same token that we got. Here we have a foil land. Uh, Alright, we got a, a foil brittle bighorn. Ooh, nice. We got one of these mythic prison thingies. <laughs> so, ley line binding. Oh, I remember this spell. It has flash, and this spell costs one less to cast from each basic land type among lands you control. When Leyline line binding enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Leyline line binding leaves the battlefield. That is very cool. Now here we have a cool the unrepentant with flying and trample. Yes, you can see this. 
Sacrifice three other creatures. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery and only once each turn. Very nice. I like this guy. Here we have our uncommons. We begin with Gold Rush, Map the Frontier, Honest Rudstein. Oh. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Very nice. That's actually quite powerful here. Scorching shot. Here we have our commons. Spring Splasher, Wanted Griffin, Snakeskin Bale. That's very cool. Explosive Derailment and Voracious Varmint. Ooh. So, okay, I just want to rehash. We've only opened four packs and we've gotten three mythics already. Line Line Binding, Esoteric Duplicator, and Tiny Bones, the Pickpocket. That, I, it's a little bit unheard of. So, well, let's keep opening and then let's see what we keep drawing. Now I understand why people have been having so much fun. All right, let's continue with the metal. So here we have, nope, just one of those dead uh, cards. Okay, here we have the Rodeo Pyromancers in foil. Oh, very neat. Surgical Extraction. Yes. Uh, another um, rare Outcast Trailblazer. When it enters the battlefield, add one mana of any color. Whenever another creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you get to draw a card. <laughs> very powerful. Slick Sequence Hollow Marauder. That's some really cool art. All right, so those were our uncommons. Then here we have Overzealous Muscle. Ooh, a zombie mercenary. That looks super cool. Slickshot Bolt Buster. Take up the shield. Ariet's Lullaby. Trickshot. And, oh my god, this is Nightmare Fuel. Cock Tarantula. This spell costs one less to cast if you control a desert. It's got reach, and whenever cat cacked Carantula becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. <laughs> wow. So it would essentially cost you five, but it's a six-five creature, so... <laughs> oh my goodness. These are very fun designs. Here we have more art cards. Ooh, look at this. This is a very cool illustration. All right. We got our planes. Uh, Raven of Fell Omens is our foil. Then here we have those like um, newspaper style clear shot. Instant target creature you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. It deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Very cool. Oh, look at this. Here we got Rakdos. Rakdos the Muscle. He costs uh, five overall and he's a demon mercenary. Oh, I thought Rakdos was his own boss. All right, so he's got flying and trample. Whenever you sacrifice another creature, exile cards equal to its mana value from the top of target player's library. Until your next end step, you may play those cards and mana of any type can be spent to cast those spells. Sacrifice another creature, Rakdos the Muscle gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it, activate it, only once each turn. Haha, <laughs> wow. That is very cool. Once again, I would not think of Rakdos as being um, the muscle, essentially. 
I thought he would be the boss. All right, we just pass all the uncommons. Oasis Gardener, <laughs> that is an interesting um, art. Lone Shark, <laughs> it is literally a shark. Oh my goodness, that is funny. Here we have Desert Dew, Sterling Key Keeper, Thunder Salvo, and Reach for the Sky. So, an aura enchantment. Very nice. All right, so I can start to understand. Now I'm understanding why people have been having so much fun with these play boosters. Once we finish with this uh, middle row, then we can recount all the rares and mythics we got, and then let's take it from there. All right, we got our bat token. Festering Gulch is our foil. Oh, and here we got Lava Spur Boots. <laughs> Very fun. Okay, so we got a Savage Smash Sorcery. Target creature you control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. It finds target creature you don't control. So a lot of um, targeting, um, making things fight other stuff that <laughs> you don't control. All right, here we got a rare step between worlds. It's a sorcery. Each player may shuffle their hand and graveyard into the library. Each player who does draw seven cards exiles step between worlds. <laughs> so kind of forcing. Oh. Luxurious locomotive, the vehicle, and here it is. Whenever it attacks, create a treasure token for each creature that crewed in this turn. Very nice. We got Badlands Revival. Return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Return up to one target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. We got an Aloe Alchemist, a Plant Warlock, oh my goodness. Some of these are just unbelievable. Skullduggery, nice. Steer Clear. <laughs> Here we got more Plant Mercenaries, like you can have Plant Warlocks too. The Prickly Pear, and then Free Strider Commando. Kentar Mercenary. Very neat. I am very much enjoying the different, you know, like uh, creature like types, the plant warlocks or like Kentor Mercenaries. Definitely they are expanding a lot more into the whole fantasy universe and making use of so many of the concepts that they have already published before and that have been used in D&D. Very cool. All right. Now oh, here we have like a Marlboro looking scene. <laughs> Your typical Western riding, shooting. Very nice. All right. So here we have Vault Plunderer Foil. Pretty. And Buried in the Garden. Enchantment Aura. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent. You don't control until you're buried in the garden leaps the battlefield. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional one mana of any color. Cool. Alright, my friends, we got another mythic. Assimilation Aegis. It's an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target creature until Assimilation Aegis leaves the battlefield. Whenever it becomes attached to a creature for as long as Assimilation Aegis remains attached to it, that creature becomes a copy of a creature card exiled with Assimilation Aegis. Wow. That is pretty powerful. 
Here we got Deep Mock Desperado, a Homer read. Mm, that is the first time I, I, I read that. I know of Homer reads. Rise of the Barments, Wrangler of the Damned. Oh, look at that. That is actually pretty badass. Fake Your Own Death. <laughs> that looks like tiny bones here. Vengeful Townsfolk. Very nice. Peerless Rope Master. Mm. Ambush Giga Pete. Another nightmare. Piece of nightmare fuel over there. Outlaw Medic. And Irascible Wolverine. And finally, Tumbleweed Rising. Oh, okay, nice. I like how they, they made that kind of like story with the tumbleweeds. And how they, they not only showed in one uh, card, but obviously they're part of a desert. And you expect to see them there. Alright, well, this is just a dead <laughs> card. Lush Oasis. Here we have our foil, Gazer Drake. And here we have a gold, a cruel ultimatum, a sorcery. Target opponent sacrifices a creature, discards three cards, then loses five life. Oh my god, that is nasty. You return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand, draw three cards, then gain five life. Oh my god, like, this is so OP, but obviously it is very expensive to summon, but that is insane. Wow, that is very powerful. We also got another rare, Calamity, the Galloping Inferno. It's a horse mount with haste. And when it attacks while saddled, choose a non-legendary creature that saddle it this turn and create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of it. Sacrifice that token at the beginning of the next step. Repeat this process once. Wow, that is um, quite, quite powerful, my friends. These are some effects and, um, you know, just... I feel compared to what we have seen in other expansions, there seems to be a little bit of power creep here. Some of these effects, like this, um, the one that we just pulled, the Cruel Ultimatum, is just insane. I understand that it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna take a time to be able to gather the mana, but once you do it, that is pretty crazy. So I don't know if this is something that maybe I am being biased towards, but if you have an opinion about this, please let us know. It has been a bit since we've played Magic or been to a pre-release. We've been mostly focusing on Lorcana lately, mostly because of the May challenge that is happening in Atlanta and that we'll be going to, but Magic seems to be pumping out product very fast and some of these cards are just insanely powerful. So if you feel like that has been the case, please let us know. We'd love to have your opinion. All right, so here we have another art card, Bruce, Bruce Tarl, the Roving Rancher. Okay, here we have our land with full art. Ooh, look at this. We got a foil rare uh, that is a land. Enters the battlefield tap unless you control two or fewer other lands. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Lands are always welcome. Fierce Retribution. Cleave. You can destroy target attacking creature. <laughs> For just two? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, well here we go my friends. Here we have a full art mythic, the Sertion. It's an instant counter target spell. If an artifact or creature spell is countered this way, 
put that card onto the battlefield under your control instead of into its owner's graveyard. And so, Oko, it is one thing to run away. It is quite another to escape your fate. Whoa, that is gorgeous. I love the art. I love the design. And I'm going to be looking at what these different um, symbols mean because that is pretty beautiful. All right, and I have an interrupter, which is a rare. And then here we got Omen Poor Vigilante. So uncommon, the Rustler Rampage. Blood Hustler. Ooh, I like that. It's a vampire rogue. Whenever you commit a crime, put a plus one plus one counter on Blood Hustler. This ability triggers only once each turn. And then by paying three target opponents loses one life and you gain one life. <laughs> wow. Here we have oh my gosh. Now we have bear druids. That is wonderful. Doc Orlock, Gristle Genius, spells you cast from your graveyard or from exile cost two less to cast. Plotting cards from your hand cost two or less. Very nice. What powerful cards and the flavor, the illustrations, they're really great. I am very impressed. And these we have two more packs from the center row. Uh, so I think in total we have what 36? I have three, four, and here's another four, twelve, yep. So we got 36 packs and we got two left from the middle row and then we're gonna count our mythics, shall we? Okay, here is our art card. Another beautiful illustration. I love this. Um, like just simple colors or just double colors and then the black that's that's gorgeous hard bristle bandit is our foil and then here we have pest infestation as a rare destroy up to x target artifacts and or enchantments creature twice x one oh create Twice X, 1-1 one, one black and green pest creature tokens with when this creature dies, dies you gain one life. Whew. Once again, very powerful. All right, now here we have a human warlock, Karvik, the Punisher. Whenever you commit a crime, exile up to one target black card from your graveyard and copy it. You may cast the copy. If you do, you lose two life. Classic graveyard play. Caught in the crossfire, so we're in the uncommons now. Rattle back apothecary. Ooh, a Gorgon warlock. Wow, we have a lot of warlock types <laughs> in this set. So she has, or they have, that touch. Whenever you commit a crime, target creature you control gains your choice of menace or lifelink until end of turn. All right. We have Eartha Joe, Frontier Mentor, and Quick Draw, ah, nice. Gold Pan, Murner's Surprise, Failed Fording, Spinewoods Paladin, Stagecoach Security, and Reckless Lucky, a Goblin Pirate. I would like to make a goblin commander. There are enough goblin cards out there to make it fun and to just play all the shenanigans. All right, this is going to be pack number 12. Here we go with, oh, this is the Cactarantula. <laughs> got a basic land, we got a foil shifting grift. Oh, look at this. So we had pulled the overwhelming forces our card 
and it so happens to be a mythic. Um, it's a sorcery. Destroy all creatures target opponent controls. Draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. It costs a lot, but wow. That, that's a very cool effect. Got a claim jumper. Aerith Archway. So here we're in the uncommons. Neutralize the guards. Take for a ride. Oh, corrupted conviction. <laughs> Take the fall. Oh, desperate bloodseeker, vampire. Stop cold. Heart bristle bandit. The holy cow. <laughs> An ox angel. I I need to like bring this to my office and just keep it there to make sure and to remind myself that wizards made literally a holy cow ox angel card with flash and flying it only costs three and when it enters the battlefield you gain two life and scry one like oh my god that is insane <laughs> that is super powerful guys wow i am very overwhelmed by the amount of really powerful cards that are included in this set and Look at this number of mythics, guys. 12 packs we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mythics. Two of them being the cool newspaper design, one of them being the full art. That is absolutely bonkers. I just wow magic has definitely changed in this latest expansions it's just incredible to see this and then we have this super cool um oh this is actually gold we got this very nice like newspaper style um cards here and then we got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen rares. Wow, that is incredible, my friends. These play boosters are actually so much fun. I did not expect this. So let us continue opening the rest of the packs and let's see what else we pull. I'm going to be going a little bit faster for this one since we already got to see the gist of it. Alright, a pest, a full artland, a gold pan. <laughs> Humiliate, that is some very cool art. Oh, look at this. We got another one of those bolt ones, ancient cornucopia. Whenever you cast a spell that's one or more colors, you may gain one life for each of that spell's colors. Do this only once each turn. And then you can tap it and add one mana of any color. Wow, that is so cool. We got a Sphinx, Treasure, Treasure, Demonic Ruckus, Nurturing Pixie. Oh my god, what is this little thing? Alright, Conduit Pylons, Buzzard, Splasher. A naturalist, sterling key keeper, and a charger. So, the first pack of one row and another mythic. Here we got a clue. <laughs> I like the art. Um, parents, a scheme, skewer the critics. <laughs> I love this car so much and I'm going to also bring it to my office. Emergent Hunting, the Vile Smasher, the Grenadier, the Unscrupulous Contractor, Corrupted Conviction, Bristlepack Sentry, Raven of Fell Omens, Oops. Uh, Daring Thunder Teeth, Dance Ant of the Tumbleweeds, Inventive Wingsmith, and the me Mind Rider, or Mind Raider. 
it's kind of late when I'm making this video, so my ability to speak <laughs> is a little bit reduced. But I am just having such a blast, my god, my friends, our TCG fam. These play boosters are definitely loaded. I don't know if this was a particularly amazing box, but I just did not expect to get this many mythics. It's it's unbelievable to me in a sense. a sign our card <laughs> from a giant crab canyon crab okay well, uh, overzealous muscle heartless pillage very beautiful illustration here we have three steps ahead binding negotiation thunder lasso baron bertram gray walter skill storm summoner Outlaw's Fury, Sterling Held, Consuming Ashes, uh, Bolt Buster, and Throw from the Saddle, and another Pulverizer. A Bat Token, mm, Eroded Canyon. Take for a ride. Archmage's Charm. You can counter target spell or target player draws two cards or gain control of target non-land permanent with mana value one or less. Powerful, powerful. Oh, there we go. Another rare land. Those are always great to have. Betrayal at the Bolt. Oh, a prairie dog. Those are so cute. Ruthless Lawbringer. Hmm, Silver Deputy, an Artifact Mercenary, uh, Bondyard Desecrator, Gene of Fool's Fall, Tumbleweed Rising, an Explosive Derailment, Snakeskin Bell. Alright, now that we've gone through some more packs, <laughs> This is interesting because now that we pull so many mythics, now my thought is like, well, where is my mythic? So people always get used to the great things in life. And then when you don't get them, it's like, well, where is this? The devil. Ah, oh, look at this. We got a Jace. Huh. So Jace reawakened. Um, he only costs two. So you can cast this spell during your first, second, or third turns of the game. Well, that is the handicap that they gave him. Oh, guys, what is this that I am seeing? Ashiok. So is Jay's role playing as Ashiok? <gasps> what? Draw a card, then discard the card for a plus one, or you may exile an online card with mana value three or less from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted. That's another plus one. And then minus six until end of turn. Whenever you cast a spell, copy it. You may have you may choose new targets for the copy. Once again, another crazy powerful card. And oh my god, I need to look into this because this is definitely Ashiok. And please let me know if I am wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Hell to pay, rare. Oh, <laughs> Mage Bane Lizard. <laughs> uh, nimble Brigand, <laughs> the Griffin, the Mirage Mesa, Jailbreak Scheme, Ariat's Lullaby. That's beautiful art. Look at this. Thunder Salvo, <laughs> Cactarantula. That, those cactarantulas, I'm not liking them that much. All right, so let us continue. We got a foot artifact uh, token, 
then oh giant beaver <laughs> terminal agony wow um this oh all right so a lost jeet or jite legendary artifact equipment once again that bolt thing whenever a creature deals combat damage put a damage to put a charge counter on the lost jeet um, remove a charge counter from lost jeet choose one on top target land or top target creature can't block this turn or put a plus one plus one counter on equip creature wow okay very interesting Leela undefeated slick shot fleeting reflection <laughs> oh, gate get away clamor hmm okay at knife point desert stew the rest dazzle <laughs> I just can't okay so I am gonna have to put lone shark right next to holy cow because that is amazing yep and here we have a sterling supplier trick shot and the voracious barment <laughs> uh, I, I just i bet they had a good laugh when they were talking about lone shark and holy cow I definitely would and whoever designed or proposed these cards sir or ma'am or person please thank and thank you <laughs> here we got repulse Rakdos joins up <laughs> he is liking this mercenary thing All right bandits hole unfortunate accident <laughs> Well, that looks painful. Uh, and then here we got more of the commons that we've seen. Oh, did I do a list? Reach for the sky. All right, another token. And just a standard land. Oh, cool. This in foil looks look really pretty. I like this. All right, we got a skull crack <laughs> and a free strider lookout. Rocco's entertainer. Full steam ahead. Lassoed by the law, <laughs> like Wonder Woman here. And then here we have. Oh, this is new. Nesumi link breaker. <laughs> so a rat warlock. Take the fall, Geyser Drake, another holy cow, irascible Wolverine, and Free Strider Commando. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now that we don't have as many mythics as the previous the middle row, now I feel like a little way. Where's my where's where are my mythics? So uh our card. This is going to be Kellen joins up. So no Rakdos, just Kellen. Oh, this is a very cool full art. Well, not full art, but bigger. Basic land swamp. That's pretty. Fake your own death. Very beautiful foiling. The green always looks so good. We got another savage mesh. Duelist of the mind. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. A mobile homestead. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Jolene. Uh, Rictus Robber. A zombie rogue. And then another ankle biter. Gigapede. The gardener. Sees the secrets. Yes. Nolan refused to give up the bolt's location. The strange figure simply smiled and reached into his mind. Ooh. And that looks like Ashiok. Yes. So, I am wondering how or why these two are connected. Like, maybe... I misinterpreted it. I thought that maybe Jace was playing 
role-playing as Ashiok. But maybe... Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Wow. This is Pillage the Bog. Wow. Okay. Oh, nice. Beautiful plains here. Bovine intervention. <laughs> okay. Uh, decisive denial. Hmm. And another one of these bold looking symbols, uh, mythics. So, Bristlebot Farmer with Trample. When a uh, Bristlebot Farmer enters the battlefield, create two foot tokens. And when, whenever Bristlebot Farmer attacks, you may sacrifice a foot if you do. Mill three cards. You may put a permanent card from among them into your hand. Hmm. Huh. Malcolm the Ice. Oh, the Rogue Runner. Hmm. Huh. So that is very interesting. As I was saying, I thought that maybe Jace was uh, playing as Ashok, but maybe Ashok is playing as Jace. But it said Jace. Um, Jace reawakened. So that is interesting. I thought that it, the base would be Jace, not Ashiok, playing as the other. Hmm. I will definitely be looking that up, but if you guys have any idea, um, please let us know. All right. Oh, look, we got another mythic. Uh, this is a foil. Bristly Bill Spine Sower. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. And if you pay five, you can double the number of these plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. That is crazy, because this guy's only cost two. Wow. <laughs> All right, a clear shot. Oh, Seraphic Steed. Not gonna lie, this just looks like they copied over, they took a picture and added all these weird things on top. All the unicorn looking things. Huh. Well, what can I tell you, my friends? This has been a lot of fun to open and I hope that it's been fun to witness as well. Here we have the canyon crab and uh, our foil. Eh, it's an okay one, buried in the garden again. <laughs> but we got another mythic, Giza the Hellraiser. War 2, pay 2, skeletons and zombies you control get plus 1, plus 1 and have menace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whenever you commit a crime, create 2 tap, 2 2 blue and black zombie rogue creature tokens. This ability triggers only one each turn. That is crazy. That is super cool. Also very powerful. Have you been feeling like the cards just got like one notch up in terms of aggress aggression and just overall, you know, um, developments, overall things that they can do. They're combining a lot of stuff in in these cards and it's very very powerful effects so wow i'm very surprised to see some of these cards and how the game has kind of changed in in the the last couple of years in a sense when we started playing magic very very powerful creatures were not introduced as often as they are now. So out of 24 packs, we've gotten 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mythics. I, I am just baffled. Let's begin with the last packs. <laughs> tiny Bones joins up, <laughs> like Tiny Bones. Hypothesis. 
That's a neat uh, image. Oh, look at this. We got the two tiny bones joints up. One foil and the other normal. Fleeting reflection, canyon crab, the cactus sure shot, and then here we have the commons. All right. So for this pack, we're going to be getting uh, an art card. Hmm, interesting. Kind of like the Three Fates. Area the Vigiler. Vigiler. Hmm. Oh, I guess that she can appear as an older uh, woman. I'm not sure. All right, here we have a pariah. Hmm, an aura. Enchant creature. All damage that would be dealt to you is dealt to enchanted creature instead. Interesting. Oh, look at this. A cat druid, Roxanne, Starfall Savant. Oh, she's gorgeous. Shepherd of the Clouds. Oh, beautiful Pegasus. Uh, we've seen Miriam before. And then everything else is going to be commons. Cactarantula. The Key Keeper. Soured Springs, Harrier Strix, oh, Endless Detour, Instant, the owner of Target Spell, known land permanent or card in a graveyard, puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Pretty nice. A <laughs> Smuggler Surprise. So here you have your Troy Young Horse. Oh, look at this, the Rambling Possum. That is so cute. He looks so adorable and huggable. Okay, make your own luck. I like this. I like this a lot. Take off the shield. So here we got into the commons. All right. As I was telling you, now that we've opened a few, it's like, where are my mythics? All right. Archway, Murder, uh, the Key to the Vault, very nice, Hellspur Brute, the Lava Spur Boots, this town ain't big enough, <laughs> that is super cool, and then here we have the commons. another holy cow. Alright, my friends, we have four, eight packs left. Here we got a mercenary token, it's the normal land, standard land. And then here we have bag for more. Another mythic with this bolt, uh, pest control, destroy all non-land permanents with mana value one or less. And it's got cycling. Oh, and we got another rare land. Those are always appreciated. Oh, hypogriff mouth. The lasso. And here are our commons. Pest control. Hmm. A meteorite. Interesting. Oh, beautiful, beautiful island. All right. A tornado. Ooh. Destroy target creature with flying. And it's got cycling. So, one last job. Oh, this is interesting. I hadn't, I hadn't seen anything like this one before. Bucolic Ranch Tomb Tomb Thrawler The Richter's Rover Gila Cow Corsair Ooh. <laughs> All right 
wow this have been really interesting very interesting cards to see Slick shot lock picker. And we got common deer, so one of our golds in the special art. Riku of many pads. Nice, that is a very cool card, too. Bovine intervention. Crown violent cacophony. That is quite terrifying, to be honest. Um, and then here we are at the commons again. Right, five packs. Okay. Mm, nice, <laughs> beautiful forest. Uh, tyrant scorn. Okay. Ooh, gold bane hydra. Vigilance, trample, and haste. So you're all good old hydra. And it enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. When it dies, create a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to its power. <laughs> that is very cool. Forsaken Miner, Metamorphic Blast. Oh, that is super cool. The Rackish Crew. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red mercenary creature token with if you tap it, target creature you control gets plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn, activate only as a sorcery. Whenever an outlaw you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Ooh, that is pretty neat. Okay, well. Oh, wow, that is a very powerful illustration right here. Archive trap. Hmm. The lonely arroyo. <laughs> okay, here we have hindering light. Slick shot show off. A bird wizard. Ooh, servant of the stinger or stinger. Brimstone Roundup. Plan the heist. <laughs> here we have Oko. And Bractos here in the back. It looks like it's gonna attack him or something. Outcaster Green Plate. Hmm. That is so fun to see. Oko being the boss of Rakdos. But the only thing that Rakdos would be interested in would be human suffering. Oh, nice. High noon. <laughs> Very cool. Primal Might. Sorcery. Target creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn. Then it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Wow. Quite powerful. And here we have another mythic. Greed's Gambit. An enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you draw three cards, gain six life, and create three 2-1 black bad creature tokens with flying. At the beginning of your end step, you discard a card, lose two life, <laughs> and sacrifice a creature. When Grid Scambit leaves the battlefield, you discard three cards, lose six life, lose six life, and sacrifice three creatures. <laughs> well. That is essentially what this portrays. It is a, a gambit. Laughing Jasper Flint, a lizard rogue. Trash the town. Intimidation campaign. Frontier Seeker. Ooh, Desperate Blood Seeker. I think we've seen that before. The vampire. Uh, throw from the saddle. And stagecoach security.
All right, my friends, I think we only have um, one more pack to go through. Fling. Satoru, the Infiltrator, Human Ninja Rogue. Ooh, Rush of Dread. That's pretty neat. The Entertainer. Ferocification. Oh, now it's all attacking stuff and crazy. Okay, I think this is the first time we look at the trained Erinx. Hmm. Highway Robbery, Patient Naturalist, Sterling Surprise. And our last pack, my friends. Here we go. Oh, nice. Nice golem. Um, neutralize the cards. Essence capture. Caustic bronco. Nice. Intrepid stable master. A <laughs> starborn burrow fiend. Outlaw Stitcher, yee, a human warlock, Lasav, familiar stranger, interesting, oh, look at this, another Erinx, just to say, Sakti, no, they're not, they're not um, rare or anything, these are common cards, well, my friends, what did you think? of thunder of outlaws of thunder junction i think it was crazy one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen mythics from one box that is unheard of i think the average uh, back when we were opening stuff was what maybe five to eight mythics a box even with a set booster i mean please correct me if i am wrong this was a little bit of an insane opening for me a lot of really amazing cards a lot of power creep that i am seeing um, happening in magic the gathering some of these cards are just unbelievable are just very very powerful so do you th am i exaggerating do you think i'm exaggerating um have you noticed this too Please let me know in the comments because that is, to me, this has been very eye-opening. A lot of uh, rare cards here too. I mean, obviously, with the previous boxes, you also got a stack of rares. But this is also kind of a little bit insane. Um, the amount of amazing effects that some of these cards have. And, of course, let's not forget... Holy Cow, and Lone Shark. <laughs> Thank you for watching, my friends. Um, if you, this is the first time that you um, watch our videos, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps us uh, win against this algorithm and so that we can reach more um, potential future members of our TCG family. Anyone who wants to come here online, relax, and enjoy a beautiful um, card opening and enjoying this beautiful art from these cards and these really crazy mechanics not only from magic the gathering but also from other tcgs including Yu-Gi-Oh, pokemon lorcana one piece sorcery you name it we love tcgs and we hope that you enjoy your time with us today. Rest well. We'll see you soon again. Until the next time.